In your health headlines, get ready for bicyclists to take over the streets of San Diego as the Amgen Tour of California Bicycle Race kicks off this Sunday. And of course, San Diego, no stranger to cycling. It's becoming more and more popular. Dr. Mitchell Goldman with UCSD is here with ways to stay safe while enjoying the sport. Thanks for being here, Dr. G. Always good to be here, Kathleen. I know you enjoy this sport yourself with the growing popularity of cycling and sharing the roads really become a big issue here in San Diego. What do you think is behind this popularity surge? There's a lot of reasons. You know, I commute to work four out of five days and many people are commuting more and more. In fact, there's twice as many cyclists on the road now than before. But the problem is there's always, always a lot of injuries and twice as many cyclists just in the last 10 years have been injured. Most of the injuries actually occur in older people, people my age, men over 45. And the reason is we're riding more in clubs and sometimes we're riding in packs of people and in clubs and motorists sometimes don't like that and that's when the problems tend to occur. Well, California is one of six states with the highest rate of bicycle fatalities. Why do you think that is? You know, I really don't know. It probably is just because we're a, a community that basically exercises more. And so in California and Florida, which are the two leading states for bicycle accidents, it's probably the leading states of bicycle lists. So it's not that bicycle lists are bad in California and motorists are bad. It's because there's just more of us. But one of the things that motorists need to really understand is that cyclists are real people. We're parents. We have children. We are employed. We actually do good things for the community. And so you shouldn't think that you're, because you're a cyclist, you cannot cycle on the road and motorists have a, a two-ton vehicle that's really a lethal weapon. And so it's very important for motorists to be careful of cyclists. And with the same thing, cyclists should have respect for motorists and obey the laws. So when it comes to sharing the road, what are the biggest causes then of accidents between bicycles and cars? It's the same thing. It's the, it's the rage. It's when a motorist is is trying to, to go someplace too quickly. But you know, just like in car accidents, 20% of bicycling, bicycling fatalities occur when the motorist is drunk or is it inebriated. Likewise, when a bicyclist has an alcohol level, they're more likely to be hit by a car. Um, so that's the key thing. You know, California law now says that motorists need to give cyclists three feet of leeway. Um, but many motorists don't do that. And so often, how, how often do you see in a car when someone is brushing their hair or putting on makeup or still talking on a cell phone? And all you need to do is be distracted for that one or two seconds and you're very very likely to do something that you shouldn't be doing, like hit a cyclist. Well, real quickly, prevention, obviously a big piece to the safety puzzle and helmets at the top of the list. What else when you know, it comes to prevention? Just wearing a helmet, which is the law for especially those under 18, will prevent over 85% of, of injuries. One of the other things that cyclists should really do is try to illuminate themselves. That's why we wear crazy looking clothing, but red lights, you know, bl blinking lights on the, on the bike, just anything to do to try to alert yourself. And then for those that are just starting cycling, there's so many injuries you can get with your knee injuries and foot injuries. And so having a properly fitted bicycle is actually very important. Okay. Instead of just buying it off the internet, go to your bike store and have them teach you how to ride safely. All right, and hopefully as that bike race kicks off this weekend, we will not see any accidents thanks to this good advice. Thank you so much. Good to be here.